These are the top five security analyst courses for beginners. But first, I want to start out with specifically the fact that SOC analysts and security analysts can sometimes be used interchangeably. The biggest thing to remember is that SOC analysts are on the defensive side of cybersecurity, while security analysts are a bit more broad and is typically going to be a very common title for entry-level cybersecurity roles. This means as a security analyst, you could be working on SOC stuff, you could be using an SIEM, but you may also be conducting vulnerability tests or security audits. Or maybe you're not as technical and you're working on policies, writing documentation, designing and implementing cybersecurity solutions, or onboarding third-party security vendors. Basically, a security analyst is a very broad role and you could be doing many different things, while an SOC analyst is specifically niche in the blue team side of things or the defensive side of things. Let me know if it will be helpful to make a video specifically on the differences between an SOC analyst and a security analyst, but I just wanted to make that clarification so we're all on the same page. And I do have other videos I've made on SOC analyst courses, but in today's video, this will be for the general security analyst role. And first up on this list is the Microsoft Security Analyst Certification. I've talked about this course before in previous videos, which I can also link below, including one comparing this one with the Google Professional Certificate, and I can link that video in my description if you want to compare and contrast, but this one is specifically made for a cybersecurity analyst. And while there is some overlap between the courses, there are also different skills that they cover, and specifically technical projects. The Microsoft Cybersecurity Analyst course is six months, it is for complete beginners, can be completed at about 10 hours per week, but of course, as with all Coursera courses, you can speed up or slow down the process depending on your learning speed and, of course, your schedule. I know students who have completed this course as well as other Coursera courses, including the Google Cert, in a month or less, so you can definitely complete it in a much shorter time, which will also save you money on the fees for the certificate. In the course, you'll cover foundational cybersecurity concepts, security compliance, identity solutions, network vulnerabilities, as well as how to mitigate attacks on network infrastructure to protect customer and organization data, implementing threat mitigation strategies, and preparing for the Microsoft SC900 certification exam. So this is another reason why I prefer security analyst roles over SOC analyst roles. Even though I've worked in both functions on the red team side and the blue team side in my previous jobs, I do think that security analyst roles give you a lot more flexibility on the things that you work on on a regular basis. For example, when I was working as a security analyst, one day I could be working on the risk register, another day I could be writing documentation for a client, for a customer, I could be reviewing security requests, but I could also be creating alerts and rules within our SIEM. But something else that my previous team did was do a lot of capture the flags or CTFs together. So I feel like you get the best of both worlds in a security analyst role, and you're not only focusing on just SIEMs or SOCs, but also within other parts of the cybersecurity organization that touches a lot more areas of the company rather than just the defensive side. This Microsoft Security Analyst course focuses a lot on threat mitigations, network security, as well as, of course, preparing you for that Microsoft certification, which is another notable difference from the Google Cybersecurity Professional Certification, in which case that one prepares you for the CompTIA Security Plus certification. Both are industry recognized, and even though I would still prefer the Security Plus over the Microsoft SC900 cert, I do think that this one is a lot more streamlined for a general security analyst role compared to the Google Cybersecurity Professional Cert, which does touch on SIEMs and, and technology that is more focused on the blue team or defensive security. And of course, all this depends on your learning goals. But first, I'd like to share the sponsor of today's video, Keeper Security. Do you ever wish that you could just get rid of passwords forever? Luckily, pass keys are here and they're bringing us one step closer to a passwordless future. Keeper Security, the password manager that I use and the sponsor of today's video, now supports pass keys on Android and iPhone. Keeper also supports pass keys in their browser extension. You can create and use both passwords and pass keys across any of your devices. Pass keys let you log into apps and accounts the same way you unlock your phone with your fingerprints or facial recognition. They're phishing resistant and support two-factor authentication by design. While many websites don't support pass keys yet, Keeper is leading innovation in the space by allowing you to create and store pass keys alongside your typical old-fashioned passwords. Whether it's a pass key, password, or any other sensitive information I've stored in my Keeper vault, I rest easy knowing that my accounts are protected with zero trust and zero knowledge security. Keeper is currently offering a special deal for my audience and you can get 50% off Keeper using my code with Sandra or give it a test run with a 30-day free trial using the link in my description. Thank you again to Keeper for sponsoring today's video. All right, next up on this list is the Try Hack Me Junior Security Analyst Intro. This is a relatively short mini course, and I personally really like the idea of this course because it basically gives you a play on a day in the life of a security analyst. And it also gives you details on your role and responsibilities and certifications that may be helpful for you to help you land a job as a security analyst. And not to mention that this is a free course. So I have other videos on free resources and courses on my channel, but this 
this is a great one to start with. Try Hack Me has lots of hands-on resources on offensive security training, but they also have some blue team security training as well. This course specifically is a free room and there's three different tasks. Two of them are learning based and the last one is going to be hands-on and anyone can go in for free to complete the lab in this room. It basically gives you a simulation of different alerts that pop up in your SIM and then ask you questions on what the alerts are, what the malicious IP was, as well as escalating that alert. I also know Let's Defend IO has SOC simulations that you can try as well, but that may be within a paid module. So this is a great place to start for free just to test it out. And Hack the Box Certified Defensive Security Analyst Cert will also provide these kinds of security SOC SIM simulations that you can use to get some hands-on practice. And again, I'll link all these resources down in my description. All right, number three on this list is the IBM Cybersecurity Analyst Professional Cert. This is another beginner level cybersecurity analyst certification, but this one is shorter than the Microsoft Cert and it can be completed at 10 hours per week within four months. It has a flexible schedule and you can also earn degree credits, which is something that they provide more details on in the website. And there are also differences between the material covered within the Microsoft course, the Google Cert, and the IBM Cert, even though all these are cybersecurity certifications. And you guys know, I love to compare certifications and courses, and it's really interesting to see the differences as well as the overlaps between the learning material in these courses. So first off, in this course, they do cover SIMs, which is a little bit more common for SOC analyst roles, but again, also still relevant for security analysts. But in this course, they'll also cover incident response and digital forensics. Now this, I do think goes a little bit deeper. And I will say that not all entry-level SOC analysts or security analysts may be doing forensics during an incident or an investigation. In fact, that may be more of an SOC tier two type responsibility. Typically when you're tier one, you're mostly going through the alerts seeing any anomalies and then escalating them to tier two or tier three. So that is kind of a step above for a junior role in my opinion. And the course also covers compliance and threat intelligence as well as open source tooling. So it's really interesting how these courses cover the foundational concepts and have that overlap, but then they kind of spear off into different areas. For example, you may not use open source tooling or, or learn digital forensics in the Microsoft course, but the Microsoft course covers pen testing and it gives you that Microsoft SD900 certification. So definitely weigh out the pros and cons. I know Coursera has a Coursera Plus subscription if you end up doing both. If you choose to do both, I believe it's much cheaper that way. But just at a high level, I do think the Microsoft Cybersecurity Analyst course does seem a little bit more beginner friendly than the IBM course, just at a very high level. So it's really up to you and what level you're most comfortable starting at. But one thing I do want to note is that if you're looking for a bootcamp instead of a course, the beginner bootcamp that I typically recommend is the Springboard Cybersecurity Bootcamp, which has a get a job or get your money back guarantee if you qualify, which really helps reduce some of that pressure after you graduate from the bootcamp and start looking for jobs. They have a holistic curriculum, career resources, and it is a fully online bootcamp. So you have a lot of flexibility and you can get $1,000 off the bootcamp using my code with Sandra using the link in my description. All right, next up is Professor Messer's CompTIA Security Plus certification course. So if you've studied for any cybersecurity certification, you've probably heard of Professor Messer. He has great resources on YouTube as well as on his website. And I believe most, if not all his resources are free. So completely free for beginners. It is a great resource, especially if you're taking any CompTIA certifications. He has really popular courses and playlists for the CompTIA Security Plus, Network Plus, A Plus. Basically anyone who studied for a CompTIA cert or, or any cybersecurity cert has probably heard of Professor Messer. So if you're studying for your Security Plus, even though I use a textbook to study, and I still highly recommend a textbook because it kind of encompasses all that information in one place. And you can go back and read it and redo the quizzes. I used the all-in-one CompTIA Security Plus and basically just rented it on Amazon for about six months and read through that textbook cover to cover. Even though you may not put Professor Messer's course on your resume after completing it, the CompTIA Security Plus certification is, is the industry certification that I recommend to all beginners. It is one of the most popular cybersecurity certifications out there. Plus it's just a certification that HR really likes. So if you're submitting your resume for multiple security analyst roles, beginner entry level, it really makes sense to get your security plus. And I know that the tech job market is not the best right now. And really you're trying to do your best to stand out against other candidates. This means any other relevant experience that you can get. And it really just helps you get your foot in the door and stand out as a candidate to a hiring manager, to a recruiter, if you have your CompTIA Security Plus. And the last certification on this list, I won't talk too much about because you've probably already heard me talk about it so many times on my channel. And that is the Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificate. This is for complete beginners. If you have zero experience in cybersecurity, basically don't have any cybersecurity foundations, this is a great place to start. And again, the certification prepares you for the CompTIA Security Plus. I have plenty of courses covering this certification course and I'll link those down in my description. But one thing I do want to know is the fact that you don't need, you don't need to do every single course I have on this list. In fact, I would just start out with one or two, specifically with one of the beginner level courses and then getting your CompTIA Security Plus. I really wanna emphasize this because oftentimes I get questions from you guys or in the comments or messages on LinkedIn, which by the way, feel free to connect. I do have that linked in my description. But oftentimes I'll have students pass me their resumes to review and I'll see that they have some technical projects. Maybe they have some education on there and some experience, but they don't have their Security Plus. And that I think really doesn't help you 
when you're applying to roles against other entry-level candidates who do have their Security Plus. And that could be another big reason why you're not hearing back from as many recruiters or getting as many interviews. But again, I know the tech job market is very hard right now and getting your Security Plus cert is really just going to help you. I'll link more videos on how I passed my Security Plus down in my description as well. But that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully this was helpful. Let me know if you guys have any questions or video topics you would like to see in the future. And if you're looking for an awesome password manager, I would check out Keeper. You can check out Keeper for free using the link in my description. Thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.